嗰陣時佢其實係冇同我講，因為佢驚我會太激動。我個腦仔喺度諗，我老公三十一歲，冇可能會有 t u m o r 咁大件事發生喺我呢個咁健康嘅老公身上。Well, I tried to remain calm on the outside, but yeah, I was very, very scared on the inside, thinking about obviously Gladys and the kids and future and everything. 我哋兩個仔仔仲係細，即係呢啲咁大嘅消息，唔使令到佢哋有呢個焦慮，好驚會冇做屋企人嘅感覺。大家好，欢迎翻嚟二零二四年嘅 Reynolds Family。你好，之所以新年新希望，我哋二零二四年咧都对自己同对方好多 hopes dreams and goals， 而我哋都好希望将来嘅 video 我哋可以 show 到俾大家睇我哋今年嘅计划。但系我哋今日呢条片 focus 嘅嘢系想讲翻我哋二零二三年嘅低处。Yeah, I think it's fair to say our major lows were based around health last year。也喺呢个网络世界入边，好容易。将自己嘅喜讯啊 ，like Lawrence proposed to me， <笑>放上网，一齐可以 share 呢个 happiness。但系其实每个人都会有面对唔开心嘅时候啦，或者收到坏消息嘅时候。咁我哋上年都经历咗一啲好惊嘅时刻。My eye started to droop and my face started to drop。我第一个谂法就系我老公系咪中风？因为佢呢块面咁样跌咗落嚟。我哋今日咧都想同大家坐低倾下 ，share 下，因为好希望可。可以從我哋嘅 experience 幫到同路人啦，或者面對類似困難嘅人。Being in the UK, it's unavoidable not to talk about the NHS. Children and young people who are waiting for paediatric care has grown to more than 420,000. What we're seeing is more difficulty for patients to even get just a basic appointment. We just cannot release. Enough beds in a day to pull patients through the emergency department in a timely manner. So we will be going through information on the NHS based on our experiences. 呢边英国嘅医疗制度到底系咪上网睇到咁恐怖 ？About to head for an MRI scan, which I've never had done before. So some serious topics, but it's best to just jump head into them. So let's go. 哇，我个心 like 嘣嘣嘣嘣咁跳。rewind 翻去二零二三年中嘅時候啦，當我哋收到老公嘅一啲健康上嘅壞消息嘅時候 ，I was terrified. But halfway through the year last year, I think in June, I started to get these very intense headaches, concentrated headaches in this kind of area, and I thought it was just a headache or migraine, and I'd shake it off. But it continued to happen for the next two or three days, and then after a couple of days, my I started to droop and my face started to drop. So obviously that was a big shock. 咁当时啦，我第一个谂法就系我老公系咪中风？因为佢呢块面咁样跌咗落嚟。而你真人见到嘅时候 ，it was quite shocking. 我即刻谂 ，like we were you're only thirty one. Like don't give away my age. 佢咁后生咁健康，成日做运动，点解呢样嘢会发生 ？Being what I thought was quite a relatively young and healthy person, yeah, it was a bit of a shock. Went to the GP, the local doctor, and they just said, okay, it's looking like migraines, but you have to keep monitoring it. So fast forward another five or six months to December, quite recently, and the same thing kind of started to happen again. Really intense headaches, light sensitivity, sound sensitivity. Literally had to be in a dark room, curtains closed, no visual stimulation whatsoever, splitting headache, and my eye started to droop and drop again. 咁我哋翻翻去睇我哋 local 嘅 GP 啦，好好彩佢咧就即刻入到去睇，但系咧睇完一阵之后佢就话哦冇嘢啊，你可能偏头痛啫，咁样就 send 咗翻屋企。But then 睇完好快之后咧，我老公收到一个好 urgent 嘅电话。嗰阵时佢其实系冇同我讲，因为佢惊我会太激动。医生同佢讲，我见完你个证之后，我就俾。俾我個 senior doctor 睇，佢睇完你個 case 咧，唔放心都係想你去睇一個 specialist， a neurologist。I was told I would have an appointment soon. It was an urgent case all of a sudden. I think because of my age and what appeared to be my relative health, they thought this could be something more serious. They said brain cancer. A tumor. Or something like that, and within a week we had an appointment. The reason that we're able to get an appointment quite quickly is because we were flexible on where we could see that doctor. The closest hospital would have been Manchester, but we agreed we wanted to get the quickest appointment、yeah. possible. So we actually went to Wigan, which is about 20 minutes further away. So being flexible helps to get an earlier appointment because waiting lists are notoriously long with the NHS, unfortunately. 咁我哋坐咗一個鐘頭車之後啦，去到呢間醫院 ，and it doesn't even look like the 
normal kind of GP or hospitals. It's like a very I don't know. 可能係我個心情上太驚啦。我拖住我老公嘅手入到去啦。I just felt like this is not real. 我個腦仔喺度諗，我老公三十一歲，冇可能會有 tumor 咁大件事發生喺我呢個咁健康嘅老公身上。Like I just felt panicked. I guess it is quite normal to start thinking about the worst when you hear these kind、yeah. of buzzwords. But I tried to remain calm on the outside. But yeah, I was very very scared on the inside. So I have to say, thinking about obviously that is. Kids, future, and everything. So we saw the neurologist. Explain my symptoms. They highlighted that it was probably intense migraines, but again, they wanted to be very safe. So the next step would be for me to get an MRI scan on my brain. Again, we were told that it was an urgent case, so we could expect to have an appointment quite soon. 即系睇完个 neurologist 之后都冇乜 conclusive 嘅 diagnosis， 佢只系话哦，咁我哋都要 scan 下你个脑先知道发生咩事。哇，你都知一个人惊嘅时候揸住部电话做埋 Google 医生 ，you know。我喺度睇，我就喺度問我老公啊，你有冇暈啊？有冇唔想食嘢啊？有冇覺得只腳軟啊？有冇唔記得咗你幾多歲啊？我叫咩名啊？哇！真係發咗癲咁樣問佢，諗到最壞、最壞、最壞會係點 ？And obviously this was all kept very secret from the kids. You don't want to worry the children no, no, with anything no, no. like this when nothing conclusive has been confirmed. 因為當你有小朋友嘅時候，你要 make sure 佢哋係情緒上被照顧咯。我哋兩個仔仔仲係細。即係呢啲咁大嘅消息，尤其是係都未 confirm， 唔使令到佢哋有呢個焦慮，好驚會冇做屋企人嘅感覺。And I'm glad we didn't like react sadly in front of them, cry in front of them, or just let them feel worried in general. Yeah, you've got to protect、yeah. your children from certain truths until they need to be told. Bear in mind, this is about mid-December now, and we were flying to Hong Kong very, very soon. And I did get a call before our Hong Kong trip, and to be fair. To them, they offered me so many slots to attend an MRI scan with the NHS. None of those slots quite fit, so I decided to have the MRI privately in Hong Kong. 機緣巧合入邊呢件事發生喺我哋去香港前真係好好彩啦。Because we wanted to get it done as as soon as、yeah. we were able to. So I don't know if anyone watching has ever had an MRI scan before. I certainly hadn't. I didn't know what to expect. All I kind of knew is what I've seen in movies. <laughs> TV shows like you go into this big incubator kind of thing, and it's obviously taking thousands of X-ray images of whatever area. I was very very nervous. I arrived. It was a fantastic setup in Hong Kong. But obviously stripped off. Had to wear the robe. Okay, so you'll have to forgive the、uh, fashion, but、uh, yeah, I'm about to head for an MRI scan, which I've never had done before.、Uh, so yeah, fair to say I'm a little bit nervous about that. Hopefully it's just routine, just doing some checks. Uh, but I'll find out in a few days with the results. So. Wish me luck. It was all a matter of fact, very straight to the point. Within ten minutes, I had an interview. Then I was taken to the MRI room, scanning your brain for thirty minutes, which was very uncomfortable to say the least. That's the way it starts, and then for the next half an hour, you have to be completely still. Your head is locked in a brace. It's just kind of like firing in these alarm sounds, like continuously changing. So it's really loud. And it's claustrophobic, and it's really uncomfortable. Obviously, it was really good that you did it. Yeah, we got the results. I really think we, in 2023, since he got the results and he got the results, we still have some hope. 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 Day of 2023. It was just me and you at home. Just know what's important. I don't know why I'm thinking so much. But 2023年尾对于我嚟讲，有一样好 clear 嘅嘢就系 family is all that matters. Whole relief, 老公冇事咁样过 ，and so 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 grateful. It was a big relief, and the conclusion was there were no serious problems, no tumor or anything like that. One thing I'm going to have to deal with is that I'm probably going to get these intermittent migraines for the foreseeable future, probably for the rest of my life. But hey ho, that's better than the other thing. Yeah.
。咁呢條片除咗關於我老公二零二三年嘅 health scare， 我哋亦都想傾下英國嘅醫療制度 NHS。咁喺我老公呢個老嘅 health scare 入邊啦，我真係覺得 NHS deals with it so efficiently， 件事係好快好快，即係唔會覺得等極都收唔到消息，好擔心。但係 of course NHS has its reputation for a reason。Yeah， I think obviously there's bad press about the NHS， but from our experience there， can't say anything but good things。Gotta remember as well， it's free healthcare。I saw a GP， a senior doctor， I saw a neurologist， and I was going to get an MRI scan。All of those things would have been completely free， which you have to appreciate as well。We are so thankful that they've been so responsive。Yeah， I would always say some of the kindest and most hardworking people that I know are people that work for. The NHS yeah. and the care that a lot of people in the NHS give is extremely、Absolutely. professional and fantastic. So, 2023, 年啦，其实真系充满呢个 highs and lows. Plenty、sure. of highs, lots of highs. 真係好學識到點樣去處理自己嘅情緒啦，因為有睇我哋片嘅人都知道我老公係 calm and composed， and 我係大情大性嘅人。二零二三年好教到我做一個大人，做一個媽媽，做一個老婆。就算你入面嘅情緒係幾 wild 幾波動 ，it is important to keep calm and carry on， 控制自己，為小朋友、為老公、為家庭去繼續如常咁生活，冷靜咁處理一啲可能好。难嘅事，例如唔知道你老公个脑有冇事，分析啦。I'm learning from you to be just calm and collected. Bit. The reality is you've got to take the highs with the lows. Everybody goes through highs.、Yeah. Everybody goes through lows. I think the most important thing is that if you're going through any lows, that you have someone to share that、yes. with, and that will make that sadness or that trouble easier to bear, an easier load to carry if you can share it. Yeah, and 我都好希望呢条片系 act as 一个 reminder。有时我哋上网啦，喺个 Instagram 度。grow 嘅時候見到人哋好美滿、好精彩嘅人生，可能有時會覺得啊，我都好想咁樣，我自己都會。但其實我哋 as people 好容易係將喜訊、將最靚嘅嘢擺上網，但其實每個人都會有經過低谷嘅時候、情緒好黑暗嘅時候，或者收到啲令你好難受嘅消息，呢啲嘢我哋未必會擺上網。So this year， 我覺得 is more clear than ever that health is well and happiness is the most important thing in life。Everything else， 錢財身外物，因為 there Nice, but health and happiness. And at the same time, there is plenty of sadness spread in the major news. So rest assured, we are going to continue to share all of our highs and positives for the year、yeah. ahead as well. And we hope you guys are going to have a wonderful 2024. If there's anything you want to share with us from your 2023, the highs, the lows, or anything at all, please do let us know in the comments section. Like、我都好想喺呢度多谢大家一直嘅 love 同支持啦。咁我哋都好希望二零二四年可以继续为大家带上欢乐 positivity and goofiness。Many pranks to come. But yeah, wishing everyone a beautiful 二零二四年。So please remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.